What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one I'm gonna be showing you how to make a suburban house. This is the twenty-seventh installment of Suburban House. That is correct. I forgot it and I just said it, but whatever. Uh, I got it right. So um, yeah, this one is personally my favorite. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just in between. It's one of my taller ones, um, which I actually do not like. I think it l looks a little bit unproportional with that height. If you want to, um, flatten the curve a little bit, if you will. Or if you want to make it, um, like a roof like this design, you could. I think it would look better, unless you think it's fine this way. Like, the back doesn't really look that bad to me. And the sides don't look that bad. It's just the top. Also, or the front. Oh, yeah, I added a plant garden back here. I don't know why. I wanted to on the so not the suburban, the modern house that I just made. I don't even know that one. But I ended up not doing so, so I'm gonna do it on this one. Spatial is a 30 by 26. The garden is optional. And the materials you need, you need a lot more than nine. I will list off all of them, and I will. The first nine is the ones you are the ones you should get. They are. Stone bricks, white single glass pins, spruce wood planks. You can always use birch. I've been using spruce recently for my houses. Don't know why. Brick block, quartz stairs, block of quartz, dark oak wood stairs. Dark oak wood planks and pillar quartz block. You also need tripwire hook, dark oak slabs, quartz slabs, stone brick stairs, oak planks, oak stairs, I believe. And also dark oak fence. Birch door, too. And then the flowers, if you want. Um, Starting at the front right-hand corner of your 30 by 26 quid golf golf, if you made it. If you think about it, doing it on different sides sometimes is nice, because if you're building it on two different sides of the boat, it's easier if I'm doing it on the right side and on the left side. Unless you're building it, like, weird, I don't know. You want to count backwards by four, on left by one, and going left, place 12 spruce wood planks. Hang on, I'm gonna go close the door. Please hold. Hi there. There we go. Moving forward down to the left, place a brick block. Bring it left by four. If, if you want to make the middle block, whatever your floor material is on the inside, do that. If it's oak, then use oak. If it's likely wool, then use that. Because it's going to be a door on top and you won't be able to see it. Then move backward, or backwards down to the left with a stone brick. Bring it left too. There we go. Much quieter now that I close that door. <laughs> Backwards diagonal to the left with a sideways pillar quartz block. Bring it left by four. Four diagonal to the left by one. With stone bricks. Left two. Backwards by fifteen. And then right by ten. You're going to want to bring up the pillar quartz by an additional two rows with pillar quartz. Get rid of your pillar quartz. God, now it's really quiet. Get rid of your pillar quartz and get out a tripwire hook and place it at the bottom center block. Get rid of your tripwire hook and get out, we'll say, a birch door. Why is it flying through the materials? Come to the brick section going left to right or right to left, does not matter. Place two brick blocks. Birch door. All right then, Skittles. And then two bricks. You might not have heard her, but she was squeaking over there, quite literally. Bring up the bricks by an additional two rows for now, and then place a brick on top of the door. If you want to place an oak wood plank under the door, because that will be the balcony or the porch-ish thing, in front of it than you can, or whatever your floor material is going to be, I would suggest in doing that. You can get rid of your birch door, and you can now get out... I'll say... I'll say oak wood planks. Place two rows of oak wood planks in front of the... 
um, bottom of brick, and bring the right and left one four as one. You can get rid of your oakwood planks now and get out oakwood stairs. Place three in the middle and get rid of your oakwood stairs now. We're just um, trying to transition. Get out dark oak fence and bring up either um, block that was moved forwards, that's just an oak plank, up with three dark oak wood fence. Uh, you can get rid of your fence and then we're going to have that gap open for a little bit. There we go. Um, again, if you want to place an oak plank below the door, I am going to. Um, I'll have to re-get the door because it doesn't, um, doesn't, um, pop out for me. Whatever the word is. It doesn't drop for me because, um, I have tile drops off. I don't know why. I just do. At the spruce wood plank section, place an additional row of spruce at the bottom. Going left or right or right to left does not matter. I want to make sure that that's correct, which it is. Well, well it's technically not, but it's, I knew it was one of the two numbers. Place two spruce planks, three white stained glass panes, two spruce planks, three white stained glass panes, and two spruce planks. Copy that row one more time. And then place four rows of spruce on top of that. Again, we're just doing the spruce section, so ignore the bricks. And the bricks are going to cause problems later, but don't worry, I fixed the problems. It's on the left side. You probably saw it. Going left to right or right to left on top of this, it does not matter. Place two spruce planks, three white stained glass panes, two spruce planks, three white stained glass panes, and two spruce planks. Copy that row one more time. I just kind of realized how important numbers and directions are. If you're bad at those, then that's kind of a hard thing for tutorials. I never really thought about that until now, and I don't know why I just thought about it. Place a row of spruce on top. You could place two, except you're not going to see the other one, so there's really no point in doing so. Alright, that's our tallest point so far. We're going to come to the stone brick section, we're going to do this section. I guess we'll roof it off, and then we will do other things. The three stone bricks at the front on either side of the garage bring up with three rows. I believe that's actually it. I don't remember if it's one or two above the garage. I think it's one. It is. And if I'm wrong, then I'm screwed. But that's okay. It, it's not going to make much of a difference. Place um, stone bricks along the top. Let me just slowly, like, move it. God, this, this control is so sensitive, and I didn't realize how sensitive it was until now. Or well, until I started using it again. At the, um, no, it kicked me out of my recents. That's not nice. Going backwards from this, you're going to want to place two, sp two stone bricks, but I can't, spe can't speak. Two white stained glass panes. Two stone bricks. I'm getting lit up with NHL, or not NHL, YouTube notifications. Two white stained glass panes. Two stone bricks, two white stained glass panes, and then three stone bricks. Copy that row one more time. Um, these windows are one block away because of the garage. One block away from the ground because of the garage. The other ones are two because um, that's how we've done it. If you want to make all of them one, then sure. Place a row of stone bricks on top. Um, <clears throat> but I think it just it doesn't make it look bad. It just it adds something special, I guess. Even though it's not that special, whatever. Um, going across the back from the side where we actually have a wall filled in. So from the left wall towards the open side, place two stone bricks. That's a horrible explanation. Two white stained glass panes, one stone brick, two white stained glass panes, and then three stone bricks. Copy that row one more time. Place the stone bricks on top. Along the front and the back, you're going to want to place a row of quartz stairs that is upwards diagonally from these stone bricks. It does not want to, it wants to overhang the left side by one. However, it does not want to overhang the right side. So that's based off of the front. You should see what that looks like. At the left side where it overhangs, bring each one inward with a block of quartz. An upside down quartz stair. Then up with a quartz stair. 
Inwards with a block of quartz. Inwards with an upside down quartz there. Then keep doing that until you hit a center. <clears throat> which should be directly above this window. You can either do four blocks of quartz. Or you can do the um, two quartz stairs back to back along the top. I personally don't like that. No, I did that wrong. It just, I don't know. I, I don't really like that look. It just looks, I don't know. I mean, I'll show you what it looks like, though. <clears throat> I honestly don't know why I don't like that. It just, it looks too pointy for some reason. Even though every other roof that I do tends to end with, like, similar to that. Still, it's just, I don't know. I don't like it. You're going to want to fill in your center with its respective dark oak material. So, the quartz goes right with, um... The block of quartz goes right with dark oak wood planks. Stairs go right with dark oak wood stairs. <clears throat> Until you just hit an end row just like that. The end row of quartz stairs is what it should be. Also, I want them to be able to, be able to make premieres on um, PlayStation. Because I've wanted a premiere video, but I can't, because I don't know how to save it. <clears throat> I'm guessing I could save the video to a flash drive, and then just insert it into the computer, and then upload it there, and make it a premiere, but I don't know. And I can't do it for my phone either, so either way, decoration dudes are ruled out. Which is dumb, but, you know. Also, now I don't have to post all the videos, so that's good. Because usually I'm always posting the videos. <clears throat> Fill in the left side with stone bricks. So, you know. If I want to upload one of my videos, I can. If, um, the other person wants to upload one of their- one of his videos, he can. So, it doesn't have to all get sent to me, because then that rules out bigger, longer videos. We're gonna work on the brick section. It's not very hard, but we're gonna do it. You're gonna want to place, um, three rows of bricks on top of all of the bricks. So you can see that um, this line is one block below the windows. And then going left to right or right to left does not matter. Place a brick. Three white stained glass panes and then a brick. Copy that row two more time. so, times. So the window um, does want to be one block lower. However, it will go, it'll end up being at the same height. So like the top row is at the same height. However, it's just one block lower. Place the row of brick on top. You can get rid of your dark oak wood stairs and get out quartz slabs and dark oak wood slabs. We're actually kind of, um, peeping towards the end, although we do have this huge back section, but, you know, whatever. On top of either dark oak wood stair, you're going to place a quartz stair. Bring it backwards till it connects to the brick. You're going to kind of have this corner, and I actually kind of like that. I don't know why, though. Bring each one inwards with an upside down quartz stair. Then up with a quartz stair, and then place an upside down quartz stair facing forwards with a quartz slab on top. Unless you want to make that a block, you can. Then bring it all backwards with dark oak, the the its respective dark oak variety. Then place upside down dark oak with stairs under these stairs, and under the slab place a block. I'm just going to use slabs to make the block. And just like that. Uh, now come to the right side. Ooh, I actually do not know the length of this side. Um, but I can probably do some math in my head. I should have written this, written, written this down. Sure that. Bring back the bottom two rows of spruce backwards by 21 with spruce wood planks. Darn, it was only- or sorry, 20. The total row is 21, so it's 20. Bring it backwards by 20. With spruce. Then going front to back, you want to place two spruce planks, three white stained glass panes, nine spruce planks, Three white stained glass panes, and then three spruce planks. Good lord. Copy that row one more time. Good to know English is not good. A strong suit of mine. 
I have no idea. Place four rows of spruce on top of that. At least I've been able to make decent quality videos. Ah, that's a lie. <laughs> I'm still able to talk enough so I can actually make these videos. Could you imagine if I just didn't know how to, like, explain things? I mean, I don't. I don't know very well, but I can uh, to some extent so I can make a house. Now going front to back on top of that, place two spruce planks, three white stained glass panes, nine spruce planks, three white stained glass panes, and three spruce planks. Copy that row one more time. When I'm trying to think of a lot of things, it just doesn't work. Place one row of spruce on top of that. You're gonna need more eventually, but they'll all be shorter. Ah, yeah, you'll see. Another number I have zero clue of, but I can figure it out very easily. Bring the bottom two rows right from my perspective by 16 with spruce wood planks. So you should be moving towards the stone bricks. Then you're going to want to, um, going left to right from my perspective again, so if you're facing towards the front of the build, place two, one spruce plank, sorry. Mm, let me double check, because there's like, it's extra long and I don't actually know how it works. Three white stained glass panes, two spruce planks, three white stained glass panes, two spruce planks, three white stained glass panes, and then two spruce planks. Copy that row one more time. It's also kind of the, um, just a lot of numbers, a lot of lower numbers through my head, the two and the twos and the threes and the fours and stuff. And the ones, I guess. Place four rows of spruce planks on top of all of that. This build is very spruce -y. A lot of spruce and a lot of dark oak, I guess. God, I always use those materials. Now going left to right from my perspective on top of that, you're going to want to place one spruce plank, three white stained glass pans, two spruce planks, three white stained glass pans, two spruce planks, three white stained glass pans, and then two spruce planks. Copy that row one more time. See what I mean? Like what I said last video, if you didn't see the Let's Ball the City, you can watch that if you want. <clears throat> but I'm starting to get like out of my comfort zone with the window sizes. Place a row of spruce on top of that. I always used to do two by twos, but now I'm doing three by twos. Three by threes I also would do a lot, but I'm just doing bigger windows of, with the three by twos. Now look, 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 two by two, two by two. Those have two by twos. I think that actually does have a three by two. But still, I didn't use it very often. You're going to want to bring the spruce wood planks and the bricks both inwards until you hit the center of your, um, section, your garage section. So the bricks are going to want to go to here once they have taken up two dark oak wood planks or the middle dark oak stair, whatever you have. And then the spruce, you also do want to fill in these four rows along the ground. We're going to be breaking a little bit of that for the, um garden if you want to make it but and then the spruce just wants to come inwards and it wants to um basically collide it's not quite centered because the spruce is longer however with the, just like the general look of it it is centered so just like that see how the dark the, sorry the spruce is longer but um so you do want to do it with all with every single row that you can or that is visible it's like the the brick is shorter, but it's in the center of the side, so it's fine. It looks good enough. Now, this is where I did have my troubles. But I know what I'm doing. So, at this row of spruce wood planks, you're going to place a row of dark, or, sorry, cord stairs up diagonally from it. It wants to extend over the right by one. On the left side, bring it forwards by one. Then left with an upside down court stair. Why did you change directions? You saw that it changed directions. Then up with a court stair. Inwards with an upside down court stair. Up with a court stair. Then place a court upside down court stair facing forwards with a slab on top. And then you're going to want to pillar back down the other side. You want to place a court 
or God, I did it again. A court stair behind that that should be kind of curving, just like that. So if you're at this um, court stair and you just go to the right, you should just end up landing on top of those stairs, which is good. Now along the back, you just want to place a row of court stairs that is upwards diagonally from the row of spruce and overhangs either side by one. Bring in all four corners with a block of quartz. Yes, I know. I promise. It makes sense. It will make sense. I like that weird line. It's so random. It doesn't need to be there. Then place a quartz stair on top. Then an upside down quartz stair moving inwards. Then a quartz stair on top. Upside down quartz stair. Then just keep doing it with the upside down stairs. The block is there for a reason. You will see. Until you hit a point. A one block point. On both sides. So you'll have to place an upside down quartz stair facing outwards with a quartz slab on top. I didn't say quartz wood that time. Congratulations. I have no idea why I do that though. There's literally no reason. Because all the stairs are like wood, I feel like, that I use at least. Like I never use prismarine stairs. I never use nether brick. Red, red nether brick. Sometimes. Have I ever used nether brick on a tutorial? I don't think I have. Well, I don't know. Somebody wants to check with me. Feel free, but I don't think I have. I don't know if I've ever used anything from the nether. Ooh, hang on. It's... I messed up. Oh. That's why. Okay, I'm, I made that mistake. Oops, that's a me thing. That's not a... That's not a thing you should have done. The court stair is supposed to go on top. Not... Not a stair behind it. That's um, my mistake. The, you should, um... You shouldn't do that. God, this roof, it took me, like, I tried to do something else. I tried to just have a row of quartz stairs wrapping all the way around, but then that wouldn't really work with that. So I decided to change it to this, which this does look fine. So there you go. That's much better. It's going to be, um, I don't know. It's going to be a 31 and a half Y for me, and my ground level is, I believe, like, it's 9 so it's about 22-ish blocks tall. That's a rough estimate, though, because I don't know um, if, yeah, I don't know if. I don't know, like, I, I don't know how that math works. That's the one thing that I get confused with. And also, oh, I forget what factoring. Factoring is not fun. The only thing I could not do in math. At least when I was in school. Now I wonder what they're going to do about final exams and stuff. What's this online learning? Apparently there's only a couple more weeks left, which is going to feel like a couple more months to me, but... <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's sad, but it's true. Place a row of quartz slabs connecting the blocks together at the bottom. You'll, you'll see why I'm doing this on the left side. It's only necessary on the left side. However, just to make it symmetrical, I did it on the right side. Well, it's not symmetrical. The build isn't symmetrical, but you get the point. You're going to want to connect all of this together with dark oak wood stairs, except for at the top. Obviously, it's going to be slabs. And also there. That's a slab. So pretty much m mainly stairs, except a few slabs in here and there. So, um, hopefully you should know how this works. The, just the rows kind of connect, so like, see this? It goes right by one, and then forwards by one. And then this would go backwards by three, and then left one. And then this row right here goes all the way across, and the slabs just connect. It's, um, it's pretty simple if you watch any of my other tutorials. I generally don't explain it very well, because I don't know how to. But, um, it's a great way to say it. I don't know how to, but... It's, I, th I think it's self-explanatory. I don't know. It depends on how long you've been playing Minecraft. If this is your first ever build, then, well, thank you for coming to my tutorials. And, um, then it might be a little bit more confusing. But, just kind of make everything connect smoothly with no gaps. It's the best way to say it. I have plenty of houses. I have so many houses. It's, like, ridiculous how many houses I have. How many tutorials I have? How about that? I've got over 250, I think, now. 
Well, some of them are like 10 parts. <laughs> Two of them, I think, combined for 10 ish parts. Three of them. Well, those three probably combined for 14. That's just a random estimate. Because they're all around like 4 or 5. It's Granny, Hello Neighbor Act 1, and Hello Neighbor Act 2, which those two are actually not in my world, the Hello Neighbor ones. They're not in this tutorial world. Granny is, though. I'm gonna do another tutorial, um, world tour soon. Maybe after 200 subscribers, or 300 tutorials, whichever I hit first, which I do not know. I don't know. It's gonna be hard, because I have the multiple parts, and I'll have to figure that out. I could just do the 300th video put into the tutorials playlist. That's ridiculous, though. Once you have done that, you should have this. The front face, you're going to want to fill in with bricks. Either side is going to want to be filled in with completely spruce planks. The reason I say that is because you get the brick over here. That's the reason I did the um, quartz slabs at the bottom. To break it up so we could make it um, not just be a little bit blocky. Like a little bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't think blocky is the word. But so we don't make it look um, multicolored as much. I was just trying to break up the spruce and the brick. Have you? If you want to add a chimney on the left side, you could. If you wanted to move the chimney on the right, which I'll show you how to build in a minute, you can put it on the left, and that would be a great way to break up the brick and the spruce. But the slabs are just there, so it doesn't look like there's just like random spruce above brick. But I actually think that would be a great idea. Why didn't I think of putting the chimney there? I don't know. <clears throat> it's kind of an awkward spot, though. Just for, like, the inside. Unless you want to have it a, um... Just for aesthetics on the outside. We have a fireplace. I haven't used it for forever, though. I think we used it once this winter, but we, like, never use it ever. And I trapped myself. Why do I always do this? Whether or not it's in a tutorial, I always trap myself. This is what you should have. At the right side now, where you have this row of nine in between the windows, you want to leave a two block gap from each window and place five stone bricks. You can actually get rid of all of your materials except for your stone bricks, and you can get out stone brick stairs. Place two rows of stone bricks on top of that, and on the front and back one, place a stone brick stair. Bring the middle three blocks up until um, you just you want to go through anything. Just destroy anything in its path. And then once you are, I'd say about like four blocks taller. Yeah, like that's fine. Just a little bit taller than the roof. Um, you would stop. Or you can stop. You don't have to. You can make the chimney at the top either a three by two and a, or a three by three. Like that's a good size right there. If you make it a 3x2, um, it looks like this. If you make it a 3x3, three three, you can put a campfire in it and um, have it smoking. Campfires go through iron bars. I actually don't know if they go through fences, so let's try that. Uh, campfire, 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 and then fence. And I, don't know, I do not know if they go through cobblestone walls. I'll try those two. They glitch their way through. Cobblestone wall. They go through walls, so... That's interesting. They don't go through multiple walls, though. So, yeah, you could do that if you wanted. I think that's actually a really good way to hide a campfire. With cobblestone wall, or any wall. I didn't even know that, to be honest. Put it under a fence, make it look like it's smoking. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but... For the garden at the back, all you need are just a few materials. Oakwood fence. Oakwood stair. Birch door, and then a bunch of flowers. So, just kind of fence off the wall. And right inside the grid. If you made the grid, it should be right inside. And it should just connect to the stone brick and the spruce. At the middle row of spruce, looking at all five, you want to break these two blocks. Place a door in it, and then a s oak stair below it. And get out, like, all the flowers. I'll just get out nine. Yeah, like corn flour. And then just place them kind of going around the entire thing. I'm just going to place them in an order because I don't really feel like. Um, I think I missed the Azure Bluette for the second time. Yeah. Sorry, I only have it twice, but I have most of the others for three times. 
So yeah, that's what it, you should have. Some just kind of like that. I'll show you the first one. The first one I actually randomized it a little bit more. Like, see, you got these flowers are different, and then you've got all these flowers. So I used a lot more different flowers there. But once you have done that, ladies and gentlemen, with interior excluded, that is your suburban house, the 26th installment complete. Thank you guys for watching this video, and hope you guys did enjoy this video as I actually make sure that that is correct. The 26th, because I do need to know that in about 30 seconds. I don't really care very much. Actually, I do, because I'm going to watch that video right after this. Uh, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. No, it's 27. It's 27, guys.